So please introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Ian Swad. I'm the VP Product Marketing here at Arm. Uh, what I'm holding is uh, a Lenovo ThinkPad X13S based on Arm, running uh, a gaming uh, from gaming platform. So it's kind of live. I'm running on uh, Windows. So you can see here we can play it. If I pick up the controller, right, we can go and play a game. I'm, uh, I've already crashed it. So good fun. But <laughs> I don't know how to get out of it. There we go. That's the kind of fun we've got here, running, showing that the games run on ARM. Um, it's really nice to see a ThinkPad on the ARM. Yeah, it's great. You. I mean, great partnership, down to the OEM channel, seeing Windows and ARM come into real life. This is my work laptop in the real world. Right? This is what I use every day. So it's a I'm serious really ARM laptop. Yeah, it's, it's a proper Windows on ARM device, and it works really well. And like I said, I, it's my general work laptop, so I use it. What's amazing now is if you want to buy a great laptop, it's always going to be ARM now. It doesn't matter if it's a Mac or if it's Windows, you need ARM. You said it. I think we, what we've got to look at is um, the future of computing in terms of how we're doing it. It's going to be determined by how much performance we can get in and how much energy efficiency we have. Right? So I think in that case, an ARM architecture is a great solution to everything. And you can see here today we have the mobiles, the mobile collection. This is what we're in front of now. Just through there, we have all the infrastructure guys with the servers that are running live on ARM, running all of the, the kind of cloud to edge applications that we have in the infrastructure space. So whether it is a, um, a mobile solution, an infrastructure solution, or an IoT solution, we're, we're really proud of the way that the ARM architecture is able to deliver both performance and efficiency, and that's one of our key values. And how much is a CPU and how much is a GPU making the success of the laptops? So for laptops specifically, clearly gaming is important. Um, CPU, people will tell you, is equally important in the gaming space. And what we see is that the, the load, you know, the physics piece of the gaming, as it gets the complexity, that goes up more and more as well. So CPU is still really, really important in the, in, in the gaming space. Clearly in Android, we have a fantastic innovation walk this way, right, around Immortalis, which is the ARM GPU. And here you can see we have a ray tracing demonstration. So this is the first commercial ray tracing uh, in, uh, GPU embedded in a phone, right, on the Immortalis G715. And we can run here, if I try and find the demo running, you can see that we have images and reflections. Can you make the demo run, Sergio? So, so we can see across. So you can, can you get the, the white, the screen white? Yeah. So you'll so, be able to see the difference between ray tracing enabled and ray tracing not enabled as we wipe across the screen, right? So you can see that the difference in reflections, you see how the reflections disappear when we take the ray tracing away. So this is the kind of capability we are now taking this feature set from what's been traditionally a, a mobile a gaming space, bringing that into the mobile space. And this is part of the fun that we're trying to do here. It's really like, making gaming exciting again in the mobile space is fantastic. So in the last decade, there's been a lot of improvements in the whole GPU space at, at ARM? Yeah, yeah, I mean, we've invested hugely into the GPU space. Immortalis that we launched last year, leading brand. Um, we, we've seen the reviews for the GPU. It's leading in performance and efficiency in many of the benchmarks that we see in the entire market in the mobile space, which is really incredible, and we're super proud of the Immortalis. Can you check product. more of the Windows and ARM stuff that's yeah, happening sure. in the booth here? Uh, so right here we have. Uh, this is oh no, this is a Chromebook. It's a Chromebook. It's a Chromebook running on ARM. This is an amazing Chromebook yeah, with a nice MediaTek chip, chip. chip. Correct. They can get to really good price. Uh, and fantastic great, price performance. Great performance. And if you hear, this is this is this is the Windows Dev Kit 2023. So this is this is allowing you know, genuine developer opportunities now in the Windows ecosystem. Right. A little box made available by Windows, what was previously known as Project Volterra. So that's this box here. It's powering this, and it really provides you know native development capabilities on ARM for the whole of the Windows ecosystem. And this is just the, the brilliant step we've made together with Microsoft. The investment on Microsoft, that Microsoft have made in this and the investment that ARM have made in this is fantastic. We're super proud to partner with Microsoft to make this happen. It's just been brilliant. So, uh, is this like a development platform also? So the idea it's is exactly, they buy it? you buy the box, right? And yeah. you, you buy the box from Microsoft, you add whatever kit you need to displays and stuff to make it work, away you go. It's, it's exactly 
uh, what developers have been crying out for, I think, in terms of the because, way uh, build it, the uh, that on that Windows and ARM platform, it would be nice to see 4K 60 video editing, uh, all the the professionals, they want to do a bunch of stuff in graphic design and all this stuff. It all needs to be supported. So there's a lot of work happening right now to there's, recompile. There's a continuous investment into this space to try and make it work. That you know, we, we stand here, you know, best visual experiences run on ARM, defining the future of computing. We're really proud of what ARM is enabling for developers, and the future is only going to be more exciting. Nice, and there we have another device right here. Yes. This is, this is uh, Hello, I think. Yeah. the Microsoft also. Yeah, yeah. Surface. Yeah. Surface with a very powerful, very powerful full desktop experience. Yeah. On a, a laptop experience. And this is my previous laptop, right? So I've, right. I've gone from that one to the <laughs> recently. I use the M1 Pro. Yeah. That's uh, good. It's just so smooth, these ARM MacBooks. <laughs> and so this, this is, this is yeah. a new device from the Lenovo also, that uh, we have on loan. This is really interesting, yeah. right? So this is, this is um, the Lenovo Tab Extreme, right? Media. The Dimensity 9000. Yeah. It's on loan for us for the show. It's a great piece of kit. Um, looking it's at like a home theater experience, basically. A crazy yeah. display, crazy yeah. sound, and great performance. Correct. Exactly. And long battery. Of course. All that. <laughs> All right. And, uh, and here's another Immortalis. Yeah. Uh, it's another feature that's coming into uh, gameplay. From, you know, from the desktop experience, you know, variable rate shading, enabling us to vary the capabilities and the, the load on the GPU whilst, um, whilst gaming, so that we get the optimum performance for the visual experience for the gamer. It's just fantastic. Nice. Um, okay. There's so much performance in these little devices, you want to get it out to a huge display to actually use the whole performance yeah. sometimes. Yeah. So uh, it's great when I see smartphones that have a video output, because then, because it's pretty much like a game console in your pocket, but it's hard to see it in a, everything in a little display in your pocket, right? Right, okay, I mean a lot of the, one of the things about the OEMs is the way that they're looking at how you connect devices together. Also, larger form factor displays, right? Yeah. That allows you to consume twice as much, because it's, Folds open. Open. That's also amazing. That's, that's how the OEM innovation is building on top of the performance yeah. that we're providing. And we just we just really like to see this kind of thing. Because what ARM is trying to do is we're always trying to provide the right compute platform in the right space to enable people to innovate and build the solutions that they need to build. Uh, so my armdevices.net website is, is hosted on ARM server. So really? Ah, oh, superstar. Servers are all ARM also, right? <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, 